Uh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody who uh, might be watching right now. Um, I've been streaming Skyrim. This is like part seven or something like that. Um, and we last time got tricked by Samantha into joining the Dark Brotherhood. I bought a house, went to sleep in it for 18 hours and woke up and was forced to uh, make some difficult, uh, difficult ethical decisions, which uh, we made in the end. We, we killed a wimpy guy who was just moaning and uh, then we went off and we discovered that we are the listener which is an agent of fate that is linked to being a part of the dark brotherhood and the night mother who is kind of their inceptor and kind of demigod i suppose has charged us to go and do some missions so let's have a quick look at the quest log um while we're waiting for stuff to happen and to go and talk to Astrid, who is the mortal head of the Dark Brotherhood, um, we've taken some contracts from Nazir. Uh, this would be a good time, I think, to get my sword back off of Lydia. So let's do I've that first. Need to trade some things with you. How can I serve you, my thane? We will take that back and then let's give her my ebony sword. Oh, that's a power. Whoops. There we go. And then we will favourite the Dawnbreaker. Cool. And now I need to recharge it. I did get an instruction on how to do that last time. So let's have a look. R1, charge. Great soldier. Hello, artist in the air. Hello and bye. He left my like. See ya. Thanks very much. <laughs> All right. So we've got Dawnbreaker charged up. Which means we should probably go do the vampire quest. I must travel to the Half Moon Mill and kill the vampire Hearn. I may use any means at my disposal. When I'm done, I'm to report back to the Nazir at the Sanctuary and collect my reward. Uh, not to the Nazir, sorry, to Nazir. So let's track that and we'll go do that one. Get some fast travel on the go. Oh, it's just here, look. I wonder if he'll give me an option to defect or something like that. Could be interesting. Kind of keen to follow through on the Dark Brotherhood questline, so I'll probably stick with it. Now, I could go Werewolf here, but I might save it for if I get in trouble. Uh, let's just see what shout we've got. Uh, equipped. Unrelenting Force. Okay, yep. Collect some flowers. Hello, Rosemary Tree. How are you? You want to do Sneaky Sneaky? There's more than one vampire. Thank you. Rosemary always coming in with the clutch spoilers there. Very helpful. Really, truly in the spirit of idiot noob playing Skyrim, I appreciate all the help I can get. And I don't mind about spoilers, that was just a joke. Uh, I mean, I suppose, for if it's considering it's a 13-year-old game, it's probably not really spoilers. I did see on our Discord today, Rosemary, that you were playing Skyrim. Um, do you want to let... let me in the chat know like where you're up to and what you're doing and what kind of choices you've made okay so how close are we to this We're almost there it looks like it's inside a sort of cave or something what time is it 8 15 p.m oh, okay well we're going inside so we'll leave it at night time I like to switch it to daytime if I'm roaming around in the dark. Is Dawnbreaker lit up? Yeah, it is. We'll stay combat ready. And uh, since this is probably a hard fight, I'll, I'll probably drop a load of potions before I go in. Drop a quick save here, just out of out of bounds. Half Moon Mill discovered. I thought that was a rabbit right there, where the cursor is. It's a chicken. Uh, grindstone. See if I can improve any of my stuff. 
An iron dagger. Nope, okay. I don't need to improve an iron dagger because I'm not using it. Okay, so it's starting to get dark. Let's uh, quick save at the door here and head inside. Talian, dropping in for 30 minutes. Uh, back to the gym. Tennis elbow is mostly healed. You've got yourself an elbow brace to assist. Nice, good to see you looking after your physical health as well as your gamer health. And King Blocked, how are you today? You'll notice I've uh, quick saved like three or four times already. You lost? Huh? Huh? Who are you? Well, now, what have I know you? what you are, Nightspawn. A last little lamb. Assassin versus vampire, a fight for the ages. Remain silent. Hmm. Don't say much, but there's a strange aura about you. You walk in the shadow of death. Leave here. Leave here and never return. How about uh, no? <laughs> Boom! Nice stuff. So he's got some ale, which we will just drink. Some cooked beef, which I don't need to eat. I will anyway. A key to Half Moon Mill. I guess I'll take that. Gold and lock picks. Everything else is trash. It's like Lydia's fighting. Now, are you a vampire lady? Last witness killed. 1040 bounty removed from Falkreath. Okay. Let's eat the carrot, take the gold. Don't need two keys. Drink the mead. Uh, and we'll... I might take the iron daggers and just sell them to Adrienne. Uh, I think it might be a useful, a useful sell. All right, let's loot this place. Sabercat snow pelt could be useful. Solitude Guard, you're back. Solitude Guard, you missed the stream where we actually went to Solitude and joined the Imperials for the Civil War. I've done a couple of those quests, but I have paused the quest line in favour of doing the Dark Brotherhood at the moment. So hopefully you'll be around when I eventually pick it up. Everything in here is trash. Okay, well that was a lot easier than I was expecting. Very cool. Uh, let's track the. Oh yeah, let's track the Lurbuck quest. We'll do both of them and then go back to Nazir. So where is the pointer for that? Up here. More foul. We've not discovered this place. All right, let's fast travel to Whiterun and we will sell stuff to Adrian and then we'll go and take the the cart to um, Morthal. Morthal? Morthal? Oh, what happened? Let's wait. Oh, Solitude. I mean, if you want to rewatch it, be my guest. I'm not sure which one it's in, actually. But if you're working your way through them, then fine. Oh, say, King is telling me the Dragon Wrench out is way further down the main quest line than it seems. I have since solved that problem, King, by just actually using a bow and arrow. But I'm not doing stealth archer stuff. Uh, Adrienne, where are you? Here you are. We've got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Yep, I want I want you to buy my Don't stuff. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Okay. Have you got a shopkeeper working for you? Is that it? Oh, here we go. We've got small weapons as hmm, blades, helmets, uh, sell pretty off, much uh, anything to suit your needs. Aegis Bane. I think I was going to disenchant that actually. Let's sell the elven sword. Uh, iron arrows are worth nothing. The iron daggers. The Orcish Dagger and a Steel Dagger. Cool. Next time Good I go to an enchanting table, I'll disenchant that uh, axe. I might go and do that now, actually, just to get the weight gone. Hello, hey, dear. Nice new helmet. Fast travel up there. Now I remember. You're that new member of the So, Solitude, my Easter was lovely. I spoke to one of my children on the phone in America. Um, and we played video games, and then I spoke to my eldest son, who's working away 
uh, via text actually because he was working and I had bought him Father some says, Easter eggs. He was very happy with them, even though he's a, an adult. <laughs> right, let's disenchant this thing. Uh, and then we relaxed and I did a Skyrim stream as well, which quite a few people were in for. Uh, so it doesn't look like I can disenchant Aegis Bane. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Interesting. Me, I, I think I'll just dump it in my house my in that case. Let's make some potions. Fortify health, very nice. Invisibility, solid. Resist fire, solid. I don't feel like a noob anymore. I feel like I know what I'm doing. Quit alchemy. All right. How was your Easter? So King's telling me that the things I can't disenchant are either unique or I already have the enchantment. I think I have, I think I seem to remember disenchanting something that has like a frost enchantment on it, so it must be that. In which case I'm going to sell it, because I just picked it up from one of the assassination targets. I don't think it's like a story item or anything. So let's, uh, we're in the cloud district here. I was going down these stairs the other day and Nazim was like, do you get the cloud district often? I was like, dude, we're in the cloud district. What are you talking about? Oh, your family and cousins came over from abroad for Welcome Easter solitude. What, uh, what country they, they travel over from? Is well. it very far? Take a look. Actually, you don't have to tell me that if that's doxing yourself. <laughs> oh, let's sell this. And good doing business with you. I think we're good for a minute, right? Let's go do this other assassination. Do, 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 do. That's more foul. Okay, yeah, we were going to take the cart, weren't we? Oh, King, your Easter sounds nice as well. Spent with friends in an RPG session, loads of Skyrim and a family talk at night. Uh, and family talk. What um, what RPG are you playing? I'm guessing D&D. It's usually D&D, unless uh, you've discovered something a bit more interesting. I really want to play Morkborg. I'm so obsessed with the idea of playing Morkborg at the moment. Like a Morkborg Borderlands 2 crossover would be great. Where do you right, Morthal. Let's go. 50 Grab gold. And back and we'll be off. You betcha, buddy. Get up there. A couple of the people from my D&D club are in this uh, game chat at the moment. And um, we have a variety of games running and also a load of different age ranges and stuff as well. We run games for kids and just adults and then like mixtures as well. And um, I'm in the middle of a game at the moment where I'm playing a Warforged Blade Singer wizard who's really, really mouthy. And I dumped my charisma stat. So I'm super friendly, but like too friendly and alienate everyone and offend them. It's very fun to play. What's the y'all going to do about it? Okay. How are we supposed to feel safe in our own? Now Lydia, I think I want my ebony sword back. Still here. Uh oh, a dragon. It's quick save here. You can always run away if it goes south. You're on the house. Okay, so I'm on fire. Let's make a slightly better job of this than last time. We'll go with our orcish bow, and let's pop some potions. Uh, let's take resist fire. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one, and then like. Draft of strength, no. I don't know if I've got any good. Oh, King, you're doing a How to Train Your Dragon plot. How appropriate. Uh, blood Dragon. Um, is there anything I need to know about fighting a Blood Dragon? 
He looks like he's doing a lot of fire. Might go for extra magicka. And then I might uh, actually quickly get my flame at Trinac. And then my bow. Orcish bow. I have got all my like Berserker Rage and Beast Form available as well, so. Uh, there it is. There is a Try and use some cover where I can. The Atronach is missing him quite a bit. The problem with the resist fire potion is like you kind of have to drink it just as you're being hit. Okay. I'm going to have to ignore the chat while I fight the dragon. <laughs> Uh, when I switch to healing, I'll have a look at the chat and see what advice you've got for me. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Come here, you fascist. He's lost a bit of health. doesn't seem interested in fighting me. Is it because I'm not on open ground? It can't land. Standing behind the houses as well. I am here to assassinate someone, you know. It's like over there. I'm going to go after it because I do want the dragon souls. Also, because I, I haven't been practicing archery, uh, please don't judge my shots. Come here. There we go. Get some shots on. Nope, that, none of those hit. <laughs> Where's my Atronach? Is it still? Is it just gone? Ah, oh, the guards are on it as well. He's just like attacking all the enemies, like mud crabs and stuff. Okay, let's go across here and see if we can like encourage it into open ground. Oh, I just glanced at the chat and someone said about NPC kills. That's not cool. I don't want NPCs to die, unless it's the one I'm assassinating, which would save me a job, I guess. Can they land in the woods? Come over here. Oh, that was an optimistic shot. Hello, Ash. Welcome to the chat. You're watching me ineffectually fight a dragon. Um, I had one land in Riverwood, and I just... I just walked away from it because I wasn't using a bow yet. Okay, let's uh, get the flame out now. There we go. Aha! Instant hit. There she goes. Freaking some burp. You're over there now. Oh, there, now it lands, look. Come here, blood dragon. Okay, I need to heal. Uh, actually, my... Is it, it just... Oh, no! <laughs> I wondered what was happening there. I couldn't seem to access my menu. <laughs> nice. I died, yes. I very much died. Right, let's re-drink the potions. 
resist fire. Uh, Store some health. And then I will put my bow back on. Right. Let's get a bit more aggressive this time instead of waiting for it to land. Just try and hit it wherever it stops. Lydia, where are you? I need help. Okay, let's heal. Slay it, slay the dragon. Uh, let's drink a potion of Magicka. Potions. Uh, I think that filled my Magicka. No, it didn't. Yeah, bro. Do not go behind that. Where are you going to land? Oh, it's levelling up my archery in spite of myself. Look. I don't want archery skills. You're forcing me to get archery skills. Making me dizzy. Yeah. Protect this little child. Maybe not. Maybe by being not near it. Okay. Has it glitched there? Oh, I thought it had glitched. That would have been good. Italian's asking me, almost required to go into bow with this game. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. I've got a flame atronach that can shoot fire, but other than that, I've got nothing ranged. Um, Lydia, my companion, has got a uh, bow and arrow somewhere. Where is it? The music is very cool in Fire Dragon, though. And because I haven't been using the bow, my archery is like doing no damage. I haven't done anything to improve the bow. Um, but we, we, we're doing alright, we're doing alright this time. The cool thing about being in a town is that there are... Oh no, oh no, he just killed someone. Oh no, uh, is there loads of people to shoot it? I was going to say, but he just trashed a guard. Person's on fire. <laughs> Eat someone. Uh, right, let's heal up. So Ash is saying in the chat, uh, you always end up with the bow because it's easy. Really good fun trying other builds once familiar with the game. Yeah. Yeah, Solitude, we've talked at length actually about the Dragon Run shout and um, I don't have it yet basically. It's a short version of that. I was kind of watching out for it for a while and I've been informed that it just doesn't show up. Yeah. Okay, can I get my sword and shield back? It's down! It's down! Yes! Whew. Nice. Can I have your soul, please? You just killed a lot of people in this town. I uh, saw the few saying that I can get special bows called Zephyr and then enchant them, which allows them to be loaded faster and be magic. That's probably a good idea. Let's have a look at my shouts and let's get Fire Breath. Unlock. Awesome. Watch me never remember to use that. <laughs> it may be dead now, but where did it come from? It came from a little hole in the ground, mate. All right, good, 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 good. <laughs> See you later, Italian. Thank you for stopping by. Have fun in the gym. Don't injure yourself further. 
I hope none of the people that got eaten were uh, significant people. Okay, so there's a person in here, I guess. Let's drop a quick save and see if we can do sneaky sneaky. I might have to put my my assassin armor on. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Okay. This guy's I'm thinking of out. composing a song about you, Yona. Would you prefer I proclaim your beauty, your strength, your... Nah, just don't. Leave me out of it. No interest in being immortalized in song, remembered and prayed? Oh, now, did I get rid of the dagger I was keeping for assassinations? Uh... Yes, I did. For all eternity? Archer him. No. I mean it. <laughs> Resri's saying Archer yeah, him. You'll regret this decision. I'm gonna wait till he goes somewhere to lie down. Where's he gone? Presumably he sleeps, right? Is the line for my next performance starting already? We'll have a jack in. Alright, let's quick save Don't and then shy. let's wab a jack. See what happens. Plenty of room for everyone. I just Someone do something. Okay. <laughs> Reverse pickpocket a grenade, says Ash. Uh I think I might reload the save. And I think we're gonna go with uh doing um putting it at night time and then like getting him in his sleep. <laughs> so if I pickpocket him now, he'll he'll be onto it. So let's go to like midnight. Try and find where he sleeps, and then maybe I can pickpocket a poison into his. King says you use the Wabberjack when you face dragons. Uh, yeah, I could try that. I don't know if it works. Do you want to? the line for my next. Do you want to go to bed, mate? But starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Stealth Wabberjack build. Yeah, the Wabberjack I thought was pretty overpowered at first, but actually it isn't like a guaranteed defeat every yeah. time. Do you think the townspeople are warming to my serenades? It's four in the morning. Go I to bed. Anna. If you weren't paying for your room, I'd have thrown you out a long time ago. Yes, but though. Okay, let's reverse pickpocket a poison potion. Have I got one? Uh, it doesn't look like I have. got cure poison no I haven't got any come around eventually you'll see ah uh, shouldn't be surprised if they come around and if you're never seen or heard from again leave her alone and go to bed Right, he's going to bed, he's going to bed. Solid. This is the first stage of the plan. Complete. Virulent frenzy poison is usually great as guards will take him out for you, says uh, Solitude Guard. Good to know. Alright, let's quick save here and see if we can't uh, get in the room away from that lady. Are you you can still see me? Alright, let's put the 
sneaky kit on. Sneaky kit, sneaky kit. Where is my sneaky kit? And then maybe I shouldn't actually use Dawnbreaker. Maybe I should uh, use something Still here. else. How can I serve you, my pain? I haven't given her any daggers. No. We'll leave Lydia without a weapon for the Lead moment. On. Right? Can I get one power attack on him? Unarmed assassination? What's that? Okay. Uh, King Brock is saying try unarmed assassination. Let's uh, let's do that. I'll lose my shield as well, just in case that's an issue. Oh, only for Khajiit, apparently, unarmed assassination. Let's try it anyway. What do you think you're doing? Nope. That did not work. Lydia, calm down, mate. Have we got a bounty? We didn't get a bounty for that. <laughs> All right, let's eat his food. Garnet ring, very nice. And then we'll just uh, make our way out. <laughs> that seemed to work. Well, Rosemary, I'm not a Khajiit. And I didn't... I didn't seem to get a bounty for that, which is good. No, thank you. Let's go to the garden and see if we got a bounty. Nope. Hey, I know who you are. Hail Cities. What is it, dragons? Hail Cities. Is there a story behind that burn it's down? Bad luck to talk about that place. Yar's been looking for someone who ain't superstitious, though. Be looking for a fool if you ask me. Solitude says that there's a mod that makes Nern Roots scream. Until next time. <laughs> oh, cool. I've just picked up a new quest. Awesome. Um, let's go back and turn in to uh, Nazir. Uh, I've forgotten where the Dark Brotherhood live. Over here somewhere. There we go. All right. King saying, uh, one story at a time, but yes, there is a story with the burnt down house. Hey, I like picking up quests and then leaving them forever, okay? You should see the state of mine and Samantha's Borderlands 2 playthrough at the moment. There's one quest that we did so efficiently that we broke the sequence and um, it's forever incompletable to the point where she got so annoyed that we had to stop playing it. Uh, right, let's uh, just tool up. We need to talk. Uh, of course, Astrid. What is it? Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... <laughs> well, Solitude says, I love Borderlands 2! And Ash really says, finishing quests? What's this nonsense? Contact. Borderlands 2, man. Have you played it. Borderlands 1.5? I, I loved that Cicero's game. The one that's set on the moon. enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Okay, so the silence has been broken, and we need to... She's now ordering me to do the same stuff that the Night Mother has okay. told me to do. And we're going to go turn into Nazir first. I like this guy. Are you all right, mate? You're clipping through the wall there. I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first I'm the perfect weapon. I am Shadow Scale to see. Born under the side of the shadow. Solitude, you have played 1.5. Yeah, the, the pre-sequel, yeah. That's the one. I love that. Um, one, I haven't actually played all the way through, and three, we kind of gave up on me and Sam. Um, and it wasn't bad, it's just skin. I think we'd done too much Borderlands at the time. Maybe we'll go back to it one day. Hearn is dead. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. 
And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Nice. Uh, Lerbeck is dead. Wonderful. Lerpak is dead. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Gosh, is there a mod that puts your uh, rewards, your quest rewards somewhere else on the screen, like right in the middle? Because I keep missing them. Um, regarding Borderlands, uh, with three... I just I don't know what it was. I'm not sure why I abandoned it. But um, bearing in mind it was a lockdown game. Did you play Tiny Tina's Wonderland? What did you think of that? Good luck. And try. Will there ever come a time when the any more contracts available? Well, aren't we the eager nothing. one? I like Nazir's contracts. Sorry to They're disappoint, fun. but there's nothing. Try me again later. All right. So you may be the listener. Let's see what he's got to say about being be the listener. Who's started hearing voices? Either way, Astrid is still your mistress, not the Night Mother. Interesting. So I'm, I'm interested to Good see luck. how the politics pan out on I'm this, because there's essentially killed. a power divide between Astrid and the Night Mother, um, who is essentially the steward of this little band. And I want to know who, if I'm going to have to end up fighting, like either fighting the Night Mother, maybe fighting Astrid... Uh, I can sort of see it going that way, you know? Which is always interesting. I like kind of political rivalry. Okay. So let's just check the quest log and... Yeah, let's do the silence has been broken. So Astrid has agreed to let me see Amon Motia in the dungeon known as Volenrud, as commanded by the Night Mother. I'm to speak with Motia and see what he wants. Hey, let's do it. Out of here. Oh, so King says the quest is going to get interesting from now on. <laughs> Good. Satisfying. Someone's going to get quispy. <laughs> All right, let's uh, find the fast travel point. Fort Dunstad, Silent Moons Camp. Right, fast travel up to Silent Moons. I think I'll might summon in my Flame Atronach ahead of time for this one. Actually, there's uh, there's people here. Now, Dawnbreaker, I'm actually going to be saving it for uh, when I'm fighting undead specifically, because otherwise I'm kind of wasting its soul charge. Yeah. I want to get the shield perk where I catch arrows on the shield. Gold, let's drink that now. Uh, arrows. Right, let's take this dagger uh, and I can use it for assassinations. I'm also going to change my apparel from the shrouded stuff to my full heavy armor. All right, lightning man, come here. Yes, you have an arrow sticking out of you, you're dead. Carrying too much to be able to run. What have I just picked up? Uh... Picked up something dumb off of this guy. Was it his weapon? Oh, uh, right. Uh, Staff of Flames. Okay, I'm on. My carry weight is like almost maximum, and is it just all this trash I've got? I'm not really sure how to manage all of this. Or is it potions, maybe? I've got a lot of potions. Hmm. This is the kind of thing that overwhelms me 
in these games is uh, like, oh, your carry weight's really high, but I can't actually see what to get rid of. Uh, have I just picked up his stupid, like, robes or something? Check my misc. Okay, so yeah, what's in. Oh, it's the dragon bones! Ha ha ha! You're a legend, thank you so much. <laughs> I misread that as uh, Solitude says miscellaneous items usually have the uh, most weight dragon bones, ingots, etc. Um, I misread it as bananas. Uh, Someone else kill, and then I'll That's go in again and get rid of the dragon bones. Like I think Lydia's probably going to get in before me. Yep. Right, where's your gold? Sick. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh, just go to White Run. I'll just dump a load of stuff in the house for now. <laughs> Rosemary says, <laughs> carrying ten tons of bananas secretly. God might get nervous. Sorry, Mr. Guard, I was escaping. Right. I just missed the stairs. <laughs> right, yeah, let's offload a load of trash. Uh, store, store. Cool, <clears throat> and then some apparel. I've got two sets of the flipping stealth armor, so I'll get rid of one set. All these rings and stuff. Shrouded gloves. Shrouded cow. I might as well just. Ah, see, I did pick up his flipping armor. Look, fine clothes will keep. Execution head. I don't want to be carrying that around. And then I'll ditch off some potions as well. Oh no, I'm right. I'm right. Right. Good. 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 Let's go. Can I fast travel from here? Cool, thanks for your help there. Don't suppose you'd enchant my Yeah, Ash is saying about an overly complicated inventory system for items you'll never use. I feel like um, I've seen mods that make the inventory a lot simpler um, and stuff where like, like you can tele just teleport items you don't want straight into a chest. Like you can tag them with the, the irrelevant tag or that kind of thing. I feel that that would be super useful. All right, let's head in this direction. So we don't actually want to be at the Silent Moons camp. We cleared this out a little while ago, despite the fact there were people everywhere. Um, let's conjure a flamey, flamey O'Hotman. That is an Avatar reference, if uh, anybody's interested. Whoa! Dual wielding? What the hell? Cool. Die already, so I can take your stuff. It says die already, so I can take your stuff. Look, mate, you're just helping me uh, upgrade my one-handed. What do I hear? Is that a dragon? Lydia, what are you fighting? Oh, it's a bear. Oh, it's a wolf. Whoa. 
Uh, why is my dragon shout not? Uh, <laughs> Not favorited and also not active. What the hell? Why can I not dragon shout? Oh, I'm just going to run away from you, mate. Is it glitched because I can't dragon shout? Oh my gosh. Right, let's, uh,. Deal. Yes, thank you. Yes, no, thank you. Okay. Uh, bump, bump. Long sword. Boink. Sorry, Mr. Cave Bear, but you were coming in for it. Cool, I think we're going to drop a quick save there and just quickly reload because uh, my dragon shouts weren't working and they were off the favourites list for some reason. Load. Yeah, so Solitude in the chat saying uh, heavy armour weighs the most and warhammers too. I think I sold that warhammer I was carrying. I think I sold that warhammer I was carrying. Well, mammoths. This is a sketchy location. All right, let's just uh, bound north. I get my... Yeah, I've got my shouts back. I have lost Lydia. I'm hoping, hopefully she'll turn up when I go through this door. Another bear. Dude! <laughs> Serious problem. I'm gonna conjure flame lady. Hopefully you'll attack her. Uh, and then uh, 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 I think we'll do beast form. Oh, I died. Well, that's annoying. Evil Satan baby from hell has arrived in the chat. How are you doing? Nice to see you. We are doing assassination quests, taking out losers. Right, I'm going to summon in Flame Atronach now. So if that bear goes for me, she'll take care of it. There it is. I really don't want to kill the bear. I don't know why it just attacks me for no reason. I've also lost Lydia completely. So, Satan baby, why are you wrecked? What have you done? How is that? Yeah, it's going down quickly with that helping me. Sorted. I might put some points into conjuration, you know. It's not half bad. Healing. Okay, let's go. Satan Baby's got one more thing to take care of today and then it's on off to Narnia. Is Narnia a euphemism for sleeping? But it's 9.20 there, my god. Well, our clocks went forward, so it's like really light out. Because it's 20 past 7, but uh, it's actually 20 past 6 in in terms of winter time. Uh, okay. Lydia's back, from the looks of things. Potion of Plentiful Magicka, I'll take that. Huh? Oh. oh, says Lydia. A shovel? Read Hedek's Volunrude Notes. Okay. I was sceptical. Locate the ceremonial weapons. Looks like we got a side quest. 
Okay. Interesting. Let's just quickly have a look at that. Silence tongues. Locate the ceremonial weapons. We'll we'll track both of those at the same time. Uh, Lydia, what's happened to you? You trigger a trap. Okay. Here we go. It's dungeon mode. Fallen Rude is its own dungeon, says King, but I should focus on the assassin part. Yeah, alright. Should we should we untrack silence tongues then and do that do that later? Let's have a look at my map. Speak with Amand Mortier, okay. Let's go this way then. I quite like having to come back to the dungeons because you kind of recognise them a little bit and that's quite pleasant. Bone meal, gold. Gold. This is uh, the game's way of telling me that the guy behind the door is hard as nails. Hello. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. So the artifact solitude called Edusian Okin, is that the thing? Uh, you have opened the door to darkness, little man, or the Night Mother heard your pleas. I think we'll go with the Night Mother heard your pleas. Yes, we want to butter um, this guy up a little bit. So it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say, the work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. What? The Emperor? I'd snuck off to the kitchen with the microphone muted to get some water, and I just heard him go, The Emperor! And I was like, oh my god, I nearly dropped the PlayStation controller in the sink. Okay, leaders rise and fall. Business is business. You want us to kill the Emperor of Tamriel. I think let's remain silent here. Let's be stoic and moody. It's a shocking request, I know, but it is inside the purview of what you Dark Brotherhood types do, isn't it? If history is to be believed, you must Who's this guy down here, then? So much he looks imperial. Day, so much planning and manoeuvring. Now you're here, as if the very oh. stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, let me give you these. They are to be delivered to your um, superior. Rexus! The items. Rexus? Here. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything. Jeweled that amulet. To be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Is there something else you need? I don't know. Uh, let's find out. I'm curious about all of this. Let's ask him all the questions and kind of actually learn. I've never seen this before. Who are you, Mottier? Who are you really? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Is this no longer so? No, I didn't like that. Uh, why do this? Why have the Emperor in the assassinated? In the year 3E41, Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. Cool. We'll require significant compensation. Can you pay the price? <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. When Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, there will be gold, a fortune in gold, but so much more. I like this. This is he's talking to my in language. Recent years has been in decline, that you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? 
If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, oh, how the masses will fear and respect you. <laughs> Ash is saying in the chat, there are so many unique weapons, etc., that you need a special chest inventory just to cope with the unique items you'll probably never use. It's amazing for a hoarder like him. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, and also some of them like are a bit underpowered compared to what you're holding as well, so you're just kind of carrying them around. Um, I think maybe just getting rid of the dragon bones is, is my way forward. Uh, so King says the reward is astronomical. And... Uh, Solitude is making reference to things that I am not familiar with yet. Okay, let's do the last question. Uh, you can trust your servant to keep this secret. Oh, Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. All right. You must deliver those items to your superior, and I, I must get out of this foul place. All right, well, I'm going to loot the 12 gold in this chest. Uh... Take your cheese and uh, make off. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Montier until my dying breath. Best remember that. All right, you've got the same voice as the guy from Final Fantasy XII, so. I have vowed to serve Armand Montier until my dying breath. Is there something else you need? Oh, uh, human flesh. No thanks. Don't want that. All right, let's bounce. Um, so you're definitely saying I should come back to this dungeon and get the unique weapons later. Yeah? Man, I always take the cheese. Let's actually eat it now. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, like, sod the money and the, and the amulet. I just want the cheese. I'm all about the cheese. Okay, so I've got to bring stuff to the Dark Brotherhood people. Let's go do that. <laughs> remain silent. Ash says, remain silent. Fusroda! Run off with cheese. Definitely. Oh, hello, Starchip. I didn't see you pop in. How are you doing? Starship and I are having a discussion on our Discord server about Inscription, which is um, a card game which is just so wonderfully designed. I thought I'd beaten it and it just opens up like a second half of the game. You're Absolutely back. fantastic. Good. All right, so did you meet this Motier? What did he want? You're back. Good. All right, so did you meet this Motier? What did he want? Motier wants us to kill the Emperor and play Inscription with him. No, just kill it. You're joking. So Solitude, is Jeremy Saul the soundtrack composer for Skyrim? Because, yeah, I'm a big fan. Uh, show Astrid the amulet and sealed letter. What's this? The letter explains it all. The amulet is for expenses. By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim. And that Rosemary, do you think I should label my next stream uh, Cheese Thief Plays Skyrim instead of Idiot Noob? Surely the Night Mother wouldn't miss the No, us. she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us. <laughs> Not cheese thief, but Solitude says, the fromage fiend. That's an interesting one, I might go for it. I actually had a lovely cappuccino in a cheese shop in my hometown today, and it was lovely. <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, I didn't eat any cheese though. I just had the coffee. The fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. Rosemary, uh, you get an inspiration point for uh, you good a bree kidding. You good a bree kidding. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, the jokes are coming in now. Okay, Astrid, I'm going to focus on Astrid. I'm going to let you guys put jokes in the chat and, and I'll forge ahead. Right, what are you thinking, Astrid? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. Okay, so uh, deliver the letter and amulet to Brother. Astrid. Show the amulet to Delvin Mallory. So we're going to get the amulet essentially valued. Um, which is Brother. good, I think. I'm, I was just going to go sell it. Let's do that. So in the chat, they've been making jokes, and I'm going to have to repeat one of them. Rosemary Tree says, on the subject of food, what do you call a, dead, a deadly French fish? I don't know. What do you call a deadly French fish? Poissonous. <laughs> uh, I'm taking your inspiration point away for that one, Rosemary. Rosemary, I'm going to call you Fenris. It's easier. Uh, okay, right. Let's go over to here. Rifton. We'll show the amulet to uh, Delvin Mallory. King saying, um, I might like this part. Um, yeah, Starship is Dutch. Starship um, has a channel of his own when he does card games and stuff, and uh, has some of the best audio I've ever heard. <laughs> Your videos are always so, like, satisfyingly loud. Alright, so is Delvin in the rat way? Yeah, he is, isn't he? Let's jump over here. Whoa. Oh, I've done something stupid here. Bruh. Yes, Lydia, I know. I jumped in the water in full armour. Not in there. Not in there. Okay, let's get up out of the right way. I assumed I it was like up top. Let's look at the map. Okay, so it's uh, forward round the building. No, it's not. It's to my right, down this road. Okay. Oh, of course, it's this flipping tomb thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm back on I'm back on the same page with myself now. The Ragged Flagon. On my Baldur's Gate 3 stream, which is on hold while I do Skyrim, um, my character was speaking in the voice of Stewie Griffin uh, the whole time. M Brian, why are we fighting these mind flayers? Here we go. Delvin Mallory. Hello. Something you need? Anything, Anything for, the for the guild. I actually know people from when I lived in London who sound like this guy. Actually, actually, Brian, I'm here on Dark Brotherhood business. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, ain't ya? So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, the business, of course. What kind of business? Here's the thing, right? And I don't know if this is uh, just like how the world has changed in the last 10 years or something, but I find that voice acting in slightly older games is a lot slower than how people actually speak. 
like I speak really quickly. Most of the people I know speak really quickly. You play D&D and people are just rattling stuff off very quickly. And uh, this guy's talking at this kind of pace. Anyway, what can you tell me about this? Give Delvin the amulet. Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. We'll have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... Oh, so Solitude makes an interesting point. Yeah, they took their time focusing on inflection, and uh, as every element needed to be appealing, not only to the eyes, but also to the ears in twin. I'll bear that in mind. Maybe I'll start enunciating a bit more quickly. Boy, a bit more clearly. This, an Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay, oh, who wait, should I sell this just amulet one to? Moment. Here is a letter of credit. Usable by Astrid only for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Shut your face. I'm an assassin. I'll kill you. Uh, okay, so what's the quest now? I'm just following the marker around. Let's Let's make sure we know what we're doing. Uh, the silence has been broken. Report back to Ashley. you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use. Them. Let's get out of here. Oh, uh, wait. No, I don't. I didn't want to go this way. It's been a long time since anyone joined us. Seems like people are in a rush to leave. Need a few spare septums? Maybe I did want to go this way. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Turn left. Turn left at the door. Ash is saying that the cheese bread ratio is well off. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. There seems to be a lot more cheese than bread. And I'm okay with that. I'm a cheese, cheese fan. I meant to check with everyone. How is the audio? How is the lag? I think the lag is about five seconds or so. Everything nice and clear. It usually is, so hopefully, hopefully it is now. Okay, can I fast travel from here? No, you can't really fast travel usually from inside the towns, but sometimes you can. It's weird. Oh, thanks, Solitude. Yes, my audio is okay and um, everything. Um, anyone who's watching the stream that isn't one of uh, one of the community already um, in my Discord and all of that stuff, um, my name's Adam Pucky. I do uh, Skyrim streams. I'm teaching myself to make games, and um, I'm also a blogger. And in my Discord is links to all my blogs and stuff. I write very silly, very silly things about raccoons a lot of the time and seagulls. Um, if you want to subscribe to me, you can, um, and you can hop in the discord there's a link on the front page of the channel um otherwise Good. sit back relax back. maybe leave a like on the stream if well, you feel like it and, uh, and we'll carry on playing say? some skyrim is the okay astrid authentic? let's move this along yes and especially made for members of the elder council the elder council oh now that explains quite a bit motier you naughty naughty boy hiring the dark brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? He was. Here's a letter of credit. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. I'm going to a wedding. I'm just going to pause there and address what's going on in the chat. So um, tech questions. I love tech questions. Um, I'm actually using. So I, I really love with tech. I really love dispelling myths. Uh, I, I 
have been an audio technician for years. I was an automated lighting technician in the, the events industry in London, um, working in theatre and large scale music events, festivals, that kind of thing. Um, and I've got a technical setup through the PC where I've got a microphone running into OBS and all of that. But for this stream, I'm actually just using the onboard streaming for the PlayStation. I've busted the streaming down to 30 FPS and changed all the output to 1080p instead of 4K. Um, I do find that when I'm outside in Skyrim running around, the quality drops quite a bit video wise. Audio wise, I'm just using a 13.99, that's pounds, not dollars. So American dollars is about 15.99. Turtle Beach headset with um, one of the Until pads has been time, removed from the ear. I've had to fix it with sellotape. The elder cow. Sorry, Astro, I kept you waiting too long. Split. Let's just bust through that. Now then. Here we go. A well, wedding. Um, and that's it. That's the technical setup. I, I started it as a as a kind of a tester. I had a listen back to it, and I very much find that no matter what microphone you're using, as long as it's within a certain standard of audibility, the people on the other end there will adjust to listening to it, uh, adjust to listening to it quite easily um, after a few minutes. And variances in quality don't really matter. And so that's why I've kept it really simple with the PlayStation. If I find I have problems, though, I can always output the PlayStation into a PC and then run the streaming from OBS using a much better mic and stuff like that. OK, who's the target? Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. Okay, so we're going to go and uh, crash someone's wedding. Nice. Uh, let's just ask her the questions. So just talking about the tech stuff again, which is super fun. Um, Solitude is saying that he, he's an audio technician and OBS seems pretty decent. Um, OBS is kind of the free software standard for streaming. And to be honest, a lot of the paid stuff that you find isn't much better, in my opinion. Um, if you know about encoding and if you know about um, different codecs that you can output through and to and all of that stuff, um, or you're prepared to tinker and experiment and spend an evening with it, you can really make it do... You can really stretch it really far. It's only when you get into like uh, events level processing where you need um, data path processors and dedicated processors in order to scale up to, you know, what is the equivalent of about 80 4K monitors worth of LEDs <laughs> and that kind of thing. And you have to merge content using media servers and all of that. But at this level, just outputting video games from your house, you really don't need to spend any money, any Tell money at all. Shouldn't you be out ruining some okay, let's question an Astrid. Excellent question. An excellent question. Vittoria Vici, Vici is the first cousin to our dear Emperor, Titus Mead II. Vici has Someone mentioned Titus Mead II earlier. Her husband has ties to the Stormcloaks. Their union is a step toward reconciliation. So if there's a murder at the wedding, not only will it stall the peace process, it will send shockwaves throughout the entire Empire. The Emperor's hand will be forced. He'll have to travel to Skyrim to deal with the aftermath. And he'll find the Dark Brotherhood waiting. Okay. Why isn't the Emperor attending the okay. wedding? He had a trip to Skyrim planned for months and cancelled at the last minute. Much to his cousin's dismay. Seems the Emperor realized his presence would necessitate a more direct role in the ongoing hostilities. A role he was, obviously, unwilling to take. All that will change with his cousin's murder. Everyone will think it was motivated by the conflict between the Imperial Legion and Stormcloaks. And the Emperor will be forced to come clean up the mess. Okay. Can you provide me any more details on the contract? This is a public kill. How you do it is entirely up to you. Arrow to the this is my style of assassination. I think I should Your use choice, Dawnbreaker and set them on fire. It's loud and messy. Because of the current political climate, people are going to assume the murder is related to the bad blood between the Legion and Stormcloaks. In any event, when Vici dies, it's going to be complete pandemonium. Best have your escape route planned out in advance. 
So Solitude is asking if I've ever played Dishonored. Um, I started it a while ago. Uh, it was on Game Pass, but at the time I was working for Amazon doing like 60-hour weeks. I just didn't have the time to continue it, but it looked really good. Uh, and King, are you getting frustrated that I didn't do the bonus After objective Solitude in the with you. last dungeon? Because I can go back and do it. If you tell me to go back and do it, I'll go back and do it. I'm sure everyone would agree with you. Oh, Lydia. Oh. All right, let's have a look at the map here. So, Solitude, kill Vittoria Vici. Uh... Okay, King, I won't go back to that dungeon. I will just go and do this, but we'll do the bonus objectives. I promise. Should we try and kill Vittoria Vici with the Wabajack? And uh, Starship uh, is talking about OBS here. Um, I always do test recordings before I stream when I use OBS. I make two or three recordings, have a listen through headphones and have a listen through onboard speakers and just see how my audio is sounding. Never, ever do anything without testing. But your audio always sounds great, Starship, anyway. Okay, so... If anyone in the stream is looking for something else to watch at any point, Starship series on Stacklands is extremely accessible. Um, Stacklands is a Minecraft game using cards that I covered, but Starship's coverage is arguably significantly better than mine. You could always go watch it if uh, you've caught up on all my streams, all my on-demand. I've got no content left for you. I'm just listening in on the... Uh, Ambient conversation. Oh, I know enough. I know those troublemaking stormcloaks refuse to submit to imperial authority. Such seditious behavior. Why, it's treason. And they when the elves march into your beloved Cyrodiil, I can make a loose stone fall on Vittoria Vici. Well, we're going to drop a quick save here, and I'm going to try the Wabajack, and then. I'm just here to provide protection for his eminence. She's dead. Run. Uh, I thought it was going to turn her into a pig or something, but. Uh... What? Victoria! No! Stop right there. Oh, uh, I'd rather die than go to prison. What should I, what should I do here? Should I just pay the fine or like, because I live in solitude. I sort of live in solitude, or I will do. While I'm waiting for some advice, uh, maybe I should reload the save and, and do a loose stone thing. Um, you're asking me about what audio I use. Um, so for OBS, I just monitor through whatever I'm doing the game audio through using the software. I just root it correctly. And I don't have any monitors. There's a couple of um, JQM, uh, sorry, jam speakers here that my son uses if I desperately need one. And I've got a Scala audio box as well, which is also his. Otherwise, I just use whatever kit has been rented if I'm doing large scale events and that kind of stuff. Okay, Solitude is saying that I can I can drop a loose stone, so let's reload, and we'll do that, because I want to see what that is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Solitude, the audio box that I've got, I bought it for my son a couple of years ago, is a Focusrite Scarlet Audio uh, Solo, so it's the smaller one, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, it doesn't have any other markings on it. I've used a few of them over the years, but honestly, I've gotten to a point with a lot of tech equipment where I just, it's just, whatever, <laughs> just whatever's there, whatever's available, make it work, plug it in. Audio files will have you believe that there's a difference, but I believe that if you spend enough time with something, it, you can make it all work. Right, here's a rock. Let's uh, save here as well. Uh, my, the desk that I most recently used when I was running a theatre was a 10-year-old 
uh, iLife, Alan and Heath iLife, uh, but generally when I was out on gigs and stuff, I'd use a Yamaha LS9 just because it was so common. Push. Push. Huh? Lydia, help me push. Push. Have I done this wrong? Hello. What? <laughs> Honored guests. Oh, let's reload. Right, we have to wait until she goes up. <laughs> this is, uh, for anyone watching uh, who's got me backgrounded, this must be very strange audio-only content. Right, Lydia, you need to move. Here they come. Lydia, you're going to get squashed, mate. I have to go up to the higher level. Still here. Lydia, move. Oh my god, mate. Okay, how do I get up to the higher level? I'm just here to provide protection for His Eminence's cousin. Please, enjoy yourself. Honored guests. My husband Aesgear and I Solitude are wouldn't be the same with us my We thank you for sharing the love we have for each other. Today, the problems of Skyrim are not my problems, nor are they you. Today we are joined in peace and happiness. So please, uh, enjoy yourselves. Let's just see what happens here. I thank you all again for making this the best wedding. Victoria! No! <laughs> Okay, yeah, they seem to realise it was me. Let's reload again. <laughs> okay. Solitude says go up the stairs behind the training mannequins. Solitude guard, this is literally like your your jam. This is your location. You, you should be the expert on this one. Thank you again. Okay. Let's go out here. Training mannequins. These stairs here. Come on now. I want those arrows dead center. Yeah, I suppose although in the game obviously you don't really move. In real if you're interpreting it into real life, I would have had to have like leapt up onto that gargoyle and like slammed it down. Ash was talking about how I make great D uh, D, D props. Do you wanna do you wanna tell everyone about the uh, the pillar of magical blue light that I made for our D, &D game? Here we go, here it is. Oh, sugar. Oh, man. All right, we're going to reload. Fourth time's the charm. <laughs> Good God. Do you know, I was feeling a bit... Um, sometimes streaming is a little bit like getting in the bath, right? Like, you don't want to do it, and then once you're in there, you don't want to get out... Um, like, I had a bit of a headache today. I'd done a bit of writing. I'd written a couple of blogs. I'm trying to get printed in a different publication. Uh, I write for comedy publications and stuff, um, but there's this one I really want to get into called Puff Piffle Pie, but they rejected one of my articles. So I... Right, where are they? I need you to come up here. Uh, yeah, so I took some paracetamol, uh, you know, just got myself together, went on stream, and uh, clearly my brain is still a bit adult. <laughs> from it says I'm, it says I'm visible. Should I put on my sneaky kit? Let's do the sneaky kit. All right, hidden. Here we go. Yeah. Good people of solitude. I, want to, I kind of want to hear what she says. Oh, that's it, right? Yeah. No. Victoria, no. The bride has been murdered. Somebody help. Uh, I have an idea. Magic. Uh, powers. 
shouts become ethereal. Oh, okay, I can be seen. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I didn't say I got a bounty added, so not sure. Yeah, Solitude, I write for a, a publication called Dr. Funny, um, and it's like very zany, very wacky uh, articles about like animals. One of them is five ways you should embrace your inner seagull, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, and this other one, um, yeah, the one they rejected was um, a th was uh, all about different types of bins <laughs> and like why they're so good for you. So no wonder they rejected it. I have submitted another one today, which is nine things you can learn uh Nine Habits of Highly Effective Raccoons. And it's just like how you can be successful in business as a raccoon. I don't know where I'm going. Right, quest. Uh, report back to Astrid. Right, cool. Astrid, he never seems to go anywhere. Here we go. Yeah, if anyone wants to read any of my garbage it's uh, medium.com forward slash adam pucky or i do post the non-paywalled links in the discord so that you can actually like read them properly and without having to be a medium member okay hello astrid we did the thing <laughs> it took us a while the news is everywhere vittoria vici the emperor's cousin butchered at her own wedding well done Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Uh, Fenris is like, yeah, the guy was going, dum diddy dum oh dear, someone's been murdered, dum diddy dum I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Okay, um, let's remain silent for this With one. I don't Vinci's like either murder, of those options. You've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't travelled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next... King is asking me if I've written an article about badgers. Not yet, but I did play a D&D &D character for 18 months who was a giant badger. He was an eldritch knight fighter turned paladin. Um, I only had to leave because I started a job that overlapped with the D&D &D club. Um, I could write an article about badgers. They are pretty cool creatures. I met a lot of them when I was Amazon driving because I was wandering around in the wilderness all the time. And they are pretty big. And quite, quite aggressive, actually. They'll go for you. During the thunderstorm. But I love them. What can I say? It happened just like you heard. It's All the right, part of the severed head I find most impressive. My compliments. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. She did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations. Penitus Oculatus, the what? Someone mentioned that earlier. <laughs> Astrid and I have devised a plan to break Penitus makes me laugh. And in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Samantha, uh, you say you love otters, Solitude. Samantha once played an otter character called Wouta, who was a, uh, a like an investigator Sherlock Holmes with glasses on and a ra and a rapier sword and a, and a bow and arrow. It was really fun. She rescued slave enslaved children from a boat. Okay, let's. Uh, I'll say I understand Gaius Maro. He is well, set I? to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithus. Once he's dead, 
Plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and I have to reverse pickpocket thing. a dead body. Yes. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass Ooh. I think my future is uh, eating a lot of cheese. Today, as an April Fool's joke, I uh, told everyone I was stepping away from content creation and becoming a fortune teller, and I've been telling people's fortune in Discord. Okay, let us uh, I actually want to know about this person, so we're going to spend a bit of time with her and, and learn some stuff. Uh, tell me about Dragonbridge. It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. Uh, do you know Gaius, uh, Gaius Morrow's schedule? No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. What will killing Gaius Morrow accomplish? Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? <laughs> King's asking me what his fortune is. Uh, yeah, you can you can go ask on Discord so that I remember later. <laughs> I'll have to come up with some, something. I've been, play, I've been saying some pretty weird stuff. Obviously, I can't see the future, sadly. I'd have a lot more money if I could. Uh, what are your thoughts on Cicero, uh, Cicero and the Night Mother? Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. And what can you tell me about yourself, Gabriella? What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. Is Gabriella coming on to me? Are you hitting on me, Walk woman? In Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver the face looking like pretty vampire-y, to be honest. Okay, cool. So we learned a bit about Gabriella. These characters are pretty interesting, uh, so I like to take the time to actually do their dialogue stuff. Ah, oh, you're back. So next thing what you do is like a fairly complex thing from the sounds of it. Um, someone there said that there is a Forsworn camp overlooking the, uh, the Dragon Bridge. So I'm going to get out here. I'm going to read the quest in a bit more detail so that I understand what I'm doing. Okay, so I must kill Gaius Marrow, an agent of the Emperor's security force. Once he's dead, I must plant a letter on his body that will incriminate him in a plot to kill the Emperor. If I wish to earn a bonus, I must not kill him in Dragonbridge or on the road, but in one of the cities he visits. Optional, steal Gaius Marrow's travel schedule, kill Gaius Marrow, speak with Gabriella. Okay, I think we will definitely do the optional quests here, uh, as was recommended to me by King. And uh, in reference to your question, Solitude, we have three voice chat rooms. Um, I mainly set them up for people who want to screen share what they're gaming. Um, it's got a bit of a community focus, so anyone who's in there who's also a creator, I, I let them, or encourage them, sorry, to post their content. And I have like web tools that automatically post their stuff. And uh, yeah, um, I think at some point I'm going to run like a D&D game and stream it out to the community with people from the community. Um, prob probably people who are over 18 so that I just, yeah, because they're adults and what have you, um, and might do that using that system. But otherwise, we, yeah, we don't really talk a great deal on it. 
Um, I'm going to have a quick comfort break. I'll be back in about one minute. Uh, I'll see you shortly. And I'm back. Okie dokie. Let's go and do this quest. I do have a dagger and I may actually use it. So the closest location is the statue to Meridia, so we'll fast travel there. Another hand touches the beacon. We'll get in close, and then I think I'll just equip that dagger that I've got. Uh, where is it? Oh, a fox. Hello, fox. is it? Can't wait for enemies are nearby. Is that Forsworn over there? The heck is that thing? Uh, okay, we'll switch back to our stuff and we'll conjure Flame Atronach. The troll. Oh, I could beat trolls. I could beat trolls. I'm not, I'm not too worried about this guy. Sugar. All right, Atronach. We need a name for the Atronach. She's uh, pretty trigger happy. No place here. What did she just fire at? All right, these guys look like they're. I think you might be in the wrong place, friend. Yeah, you might be right. Okay. Not sure what happened there. So, <laughs> Fenris is saying call the Atronach Beryl. Yeah, Beryl sounds like a good one. Because she likes to barrel the enemies. You can have your inspiration point back for that, Fenris. Right, let's have a quick look at the map. How close are we? Put me uh, dagger back on. Now, Lydia, behave yourself. Chicken. Let's quick save here. And uh, <laughs> Fenris says, "Do a barrel roll." I'm surprised you understand that reference. That's from uh, that's from a game from when I was a kid. I know you will. All the same. Right, that's the guy. So we go around the back here and sneak. Sneak into the house. Have I got my sneaky sneaky clothes on? Yeah, I have. Farewell, friend. 
Okay. So I'm going to let him walk off, I guess, before I go into the house. Should we just try and go in the house anyway? Hello. Citizen. There's a lot of people in here. Does it say where the steel the travel schedule? It doesn't actually say where Citizen. it is. Trust me, we have nothing to say. What do you think you're doing? Bruh. <laughs> okay, well, I seem to get away with that. Now we're going to try this. Lydia, calm down. Try and assassinate this guy. You can definitely see Lydia. Sneaky, sneaky. Keep. Oh man! Time to end. Are you joking me? I thought you did like a power. A Oh, it's got to be a power attack, doesn't it, to do the assassination? Right. Oh, that is the wrong dragon shout, but it seems to have worked. Okay, so let's read the letter from his father. Misc no books. Let's read that one quickly. In order for the Penitus Oculatus to ensure the safety of our honoured Emperor during his visit to Skyrim, we must personally verify the security of every city in the province. To this end, I appoint you my personal representative, granting all rights and privileges afforded a commanding officer of the Penitus Oculatus. You are... I've lost my place. Oh, you are authorised to speak with my voice and administer with my hand. Gaius, I cannot do this alone. There is much work to be done here in Dragonbridge and elsewhere, and many arrangements still to be made uh, before the Emperor's arrival. I simply cannot afford to spend time travelling right now, but you must know the seriousness of the task I set before you. When he arrives, the Emperor may choose to visit any city in Skyrim, as suits his whim. If he does so, we, the Penitus Oculatus, must be sure that security within those cities is sufficient to deal with any threat to his person that may arise. Gaius, my beloved son, you may be new to the Penitus Oculatus, but I need someone I can trust. You must carry out your duty for the safety of the Emperor, the glory of the Penitus Oculatus, and the honour of the Marrow family name, your superior officer and loving father among the Marrow. Well, let's put that back. Incriminating letter. Let's read this. Vunwolf, I agree to your conditions. When the Emperor arrives, I'll pass along his schedule and arrange for all doors to be unlocked and any post of security to be conveniently absent for a small period of time. Nothing will stand between your men and his eminence. He will die by stormcloak hands, and neither my father nor your great leader Ulfric will even know anything is amiss until it is too late. Leave the first payment in gold at this dead drop. I look forward to continuing our relationship, guys, Marrow. Interesting. Let's store that on him then. And then let's uh, loot him. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got nothing good. He's got... It's all... This stuff is useless. Sam's here. Hello, Sam. King's asking, can you name one city that was safe when you walked in for the first time? Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe Riverwood? Does that count as a city? Probably not. By the order of the yard. Stop right there. 
Uh, how was work, Sam? Imperial soldier. Okay, looks like we've done that gig. Cool beans. Uh, let's uh, heal up quickly. Oh, so Riverwood isn't a city. I don't have a dragon attack yet. Yeah, Skyrim's not the safest place. You are correct. I'll give you that one. Okay, I go where the marker takes me. Are we going back to Astrid now? Yep, yep, we are. It's such a gameplay loop, the Dark Brotherhood. It's like, go kill someone, come back. Get your reward. Go kill someone else, come back, get your reward. I might talk to Nazir and see what he's got. Sam, you had a three-hour nap when you got in from work. That's awesome. At last, I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Gaius Maro is dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. And you've earned your payment, though the bonus is forfeit. As I'm sure you're aware. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Oh, I didn't get the bonus? But I did the optional... I did the optional thing. I forgot what it was called now. Is it the one I just did? Oh, uh... Okay, never mind. Whatevs. Let's go and talk to... Whoever it was just that she just said. Relax, Let the elixir do its work. Hi, Astrid. Yeah. I just went and You're killed back. someone. Good. Ah, You'll want to hear this. Thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it. This never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh. I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know, but we've got bigger problems right now. Gabriella mentioned something about Cicero. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. It would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget Best the rant about the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. Uh, why me? I suppose I am the listener, after all. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. By a fool. Sam says lol, as if a Skyrim character could move like that, yeah, like a whirlwind. <laughs> and she's also shouting horse time in capital letters. Alright, let's go and uh, search Cicero's room then. See what he's got. Uh, read Cicero's journal, final volume. Oh, we're definitely going to read the whole of this. Okay. 
30th son, I should do it in the Cicero voice. 30th son of Dun Dun, blah, 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 blah. No, I can't keep that up. Okay. 30th of Sun's Dusk, 4200. I've written the letters, so polite, so official, to Astrid in Skyrim. Her, oh, to Astrid in Skyrim. Her sanctuary still stands, still operates. But how? No listener means no black sacrament. And yes, Sam, I can see you've got a level up. No black sacrament means no contract. Her family can abandon the old ways and still survive still kill but it's that family still uh, but is that family still brotherhood or something else something new something different something wrong something wrong still we must go tomorrow we set sail float on a boat through the moat called the sea uh moat called the sea her and me called the sea her and me oh <laughs> there should be a comma there who's her then 22nd of evening star for e sick 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 of the rocking tossing rolling throwing upon the gray gray waves i've been reading of skyrim of the good days the old days the old ways there was another sanctuary once a dawn star sanctuary good ancient and strong blessed by Scythius, a Scythus. cicero will go there no need of astrid the mother and i will settle and she will speak to me finally and we will build the old ways anew together 23rd of evening star the passphrase is mine. I found it in a letter, ancient as the sanctuary itself. The black door will ask, what is life's greatest illusions? I am to answer, innocence, my brother. Finally, a space, a place to call my own, a joker's retreat for the fool of hearts. Fourth of first seed, the sanctuary is home, as I had dared hope, cool and dark and lovely, my sanctuary, sanctuary from all. I know it's every corner, every hall, every shadowed nook and alcove, my sanctuary. The guardians know me, recognise me as keeper. They leave poor Cicero alone, the big ugly beast. A different story, he'd eat me if he could. But to bind me, grind me, he'd need to find me. And Cicero will make sure that does not happen, for I have sanctuary, sanctuary from all. Thirteenth of first seed. The sanctuary is a safety and salvation, but silent, so silent. I give my love to the unholy matron. I give up my laughter freely, but I do not hear her. A silence has returned. Now that I am laughter and no longer hear laughter, I once again hear the silence, the silence of the void. It reaches across time and space. Its silence is deafening once more. First of rain's hand. Mother and keeper must go. I am not the listener and never will be. But I am the keeper. I must serve my mother's will above my own. I must find her listener. I must teach Astrid the error of her ways, the beauty and necessity of the old ways. I have sent the letter to Astrid. We leave soon, but Cicero will keep this sanctuary as his sanctuary. A place to rest and ply my trade, for I once more take up the blade and send some lucky souls to him. When the laughter... Uh, him has a capital letter, which is interesting. When laughter strikes, as fits my whim. Let's take that. Let's nick a load of his stuff as well. Any gold, Cicero? You haven't got much, have you? All oh, right, more journals. I imagine this just charts his descent into madness. So in chat, Ash and Samantha are talking about a horse. I don't know what you're referring to because I've never seen this before. Some kind of special horse that you get. All right, let's go talk to uh, Astrid. Have you found something? Good. Yes, Cicero's Good. journal. Does it say where he may be headed? Yes, an abandoned sanctuary in Dawnstar. I have the passphrase. The Dawnstar sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just Shadowmere. say he's... One of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. Hmm, okay. Did something set no, Cicero nothing. off? At least nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, obeying the Night Mother. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was 
Not entirely respectful. But to go this far. To attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary. Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Uh... Isn't there any way to work this out? Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. What does it matter? In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. Uh, what do we know about the Dawnstar Sanctuary? Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Oh, we're going to have to kill Cicero. Tread carefully. Right. I thought, like, he was going to turn into a vampire or something like that. Damnable jester. So, I'm going to head to the door and I'm going to uh, ponder my level up. Um, I'd like to take some advice from the chat here. So, I'm going to just pop off and make a cup of tea for a few minutes um, about what to actually drop the perk into. I think I'm going to... My stamina seems to be being alright, so I'm going to drop one into health. So, my thoughts are, I've got heavy armour to think about, um, I've got block to think about, um, I've got one-handed fighting, which is only at 63, so that may be maxed out. I think my next ones are like 90. Uh, and then I've got like restoration... Uh, where is it? Restoration and conjuration. I'm finding the flame atronach pretty cool. Restoration is not actually that high because I don't use it a lot. Um, so yeah, what do you think I should go for? I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Well, about five minutes.
Okay, I am back. <clears throat> you have never seen a man eat two yogurts so quickly. I, uh, I'm slightly offset with my meal times here. So, um, looking at the chat, had a bit of a read of what you put. Um, so, it looks like short term gains were going for smithing. I um, mean, then long term gains, we might want to think about conjuration. It's going to take a few perks. Um, so, we'll have to unlock. This I'll have, I'll have to use it a fair bit more as well. So summoner, yeah. Okay, let's go to the smithing then. Uh, which is where is it? Here it is. Actually, only got twenty four points in it, so I might not have enough to get anything good. <clears throat> Elven armor. Dwarven smithing. So for Dwarven smithing, I need 30. That's not far off. So I could realistically hang on to the perk and go and like do a bunch of smithing. Uh, and then I have got loads of ingots in my chest in Whiterun. So I think we'll do that. We'll hang on to the perk. We'll do smithing. And then we'll think about conjuration as a long-term thing. In the meantime, I've actually forgotten what the quest was. Behold Shadowmere. Okay, here we go. Huh? Oh, a bubbling pool. Whoa. Oh, look! one hecka cool horse is this base game stuff then this isn't um dlc come on lydia or are you just going to run to keep up with me horse <laughs> is the chatter just shouting a horse <laughs> right where do i need to get to i think we will go cross country because we've got a cool horse Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe I won't go cross country. Let's uh, fast travel to Fort Dunstad, and we'll 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 sprint up from there. Is it this way? Printing in the night as well. Lydia, who are you fighting? Come on, come on, horse. There we go. I like his cool eyes. Now, can horses die in this? I think they can, so let's go careful down the... Oh no! Ouch. Maybe I should heal the horse. Ash, what does Comet Dammit mean? <laughs> uh, Sam says this horse can't die. All right. Is it, like, already dead? It's very healthy if it's if it's an undead horse. So Sam says that uh, Shadowmere gets knocked down, but she gets up again. You're never going to keep her down. She gets knocked down. Immortal horse. She's technically a Daedra. Wow. She's my dream horse. A horse that can't die. Okay, I've caused a lot of trouble in this town. <laughs> I haven't done anything good here. I've intimidated an old lady and then um, went and murdered someone in their bed. Okay. So if I just get off the horse, um, will she just stay there? Oh, 
a boat, a boat. Where's my... Oh, okay, it's uh, a bit further north. I think I'll get back on the horse and I've take it. I've been looking with... for you. Got Hello. something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, let's go up to where Arnbjorn is supposed to be. Maybe through these houses. Looks like it's wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? Looks like there was a conversation happening there. Is there, is there a, a house or a hut nearby? Or a cave? Dawn Star Sanctuary discovered. Should have figured Astrid would send you. Oh, Ash said commit, damn it. Hoping I'd ride all the way there. I'll tell you what, I'll take it Should for a long ride in a minute. Would send you. You're hurt. What gave it away? <laughs> Can I not just cast heal other on yeah, this guy? Gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry. I gave as good as I got. Oh my god everyone. Parthenax has just entered the chat. Hello. Where's Cicero now? In there. Through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. Alright, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. Enter the Dawnstar Sanctuary. Okay, right, horsey, you stay there. She's so cool. You're even better than that horse I stole near the beginning that just walked off. I feel like I'm not going to be fighting undead, so I'm probably not going to need uh, Dawnbreaker. I'll keep Dawnbreaker on me, and Lydia, you can just use a steel sword. Uh, let's quick save before we go in and see how we get on. <laughs> Parthenax is... <laughs> Sam says Parthenax has come to check up on me. He's wondering why I'm not doing the main quest. Yeah. I'm not doing the main quest because somebody tricked me into going to sleep in my new house and I got turned into an assassin. <laughs> Look at these options. I know it's the top one, but um, the one where you saw a lady in half being happily married? Dreams are reality and reality is a dream. Let's go with innocence. So Parthenax is in the chat asking what is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Can't help but feel that that question is a little loaded uh, because he's carrying some guilt. What do you think? Who was it that was calling Parthenax party snacks the other day? Jester's clothes. We could dress up as Cicero. Should we dress up as Cicero to kill Cicero? Is that messed up? The Pirate King. Maybe we'll steal his clothes on the way out. Oh, did I miss some cheese? Uh... We, we can't do that. What what did you call me? The cheese thief or something? The cheese infiltrator. 
the Dunmare of Skyrim. Okay, there's no cheese here. This or we've come to steal your cheese. Sorry, bro. I had to stab you in the head. No, oh, he's gone. He doesn't even turn into an ash pile. Uh, oh, a piece of gold. Coin purse. Gold. Dragon's tongue. We need to immediately eat that. Ingredients. Dragon's tongue. Oh, I already know. All right, I don't. I don't need to eat that. Sam says if I was playing a female character build, I could look like Harley Quinn if I wear Cicero's clothes. I think my orc can get away with looking like Harley Quinn. He's very, um, yeah, it's very pretty look. Oh, I might change into my uh, more solid armor, actually. Apparel. Armor, 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 armor. There we go. That's more like it. Sugar. You might. Down you go, son. Well, funny you mentioned Harley Quinn because Cicero's definitely got Joker vibes. Like he's, uh, especially like Arkham Asylum Joker. He's really. He seems to have racked up some pretty good audio, actually. Archery, thank you. What's this one? Fire and darkness. One handed, yeah. I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Not good. Lydia, don't stand there. <laughs> oh, I love that uh, Parthenax is just. Just giving me Skyrim quotes. Okay. Am I going to trigger more fire or is that done? Yeah, it's done. You're still alive. Respects the listeners so Sam says course. that if I wear the Cicero armor or clothing, I, it changes as if you're a woman. Can I put it on Lydia? So we can see what it looks like. Oh, hello. I was looking at the chat there. And I didn't realise these guys showed up. Put you down. Sorry, Lydia. I didn't. I didn't mean to knock you over. She's so keen. She's so keen to get stuck in. Parthenax, do you like my Lydia armor? I've got her in a real, real weird mix of stuff. No cheese here. Cicero, you keep not a very well stocked house. Barter from the other side. Okay. Someone in my chat yesterday or the day before were, was referring to Parthenax as party snacks. Can you believe it? I know you'd get revenge on them if not for the fact that you're good now. Deer hide. Oh, I can use that for smithing. Large antlers. Can I eat the antlers? I'm going to eat the antlers. Nom nom nom. Enjoy this. Not an original a pair of antlers. Oh no, have I accidentally... Oh, come and see! I've accidentally equipped that apparel. Cool, okay. <laughs> Parthenax says, Parthenax is my nickname. You're right, I'm sorry. It wasn't me that said that, it was somebody else. I was letting you know. Maybe we should burn them. What? 
breath weapon does Parthenax have? Uh, a troll? Hello. A big troll. Should we summon the Atronach? Alright, let's get in and uh, do some serious attacks. Run away. The Atronach is uh, not sniping well. Oh, there he goes, on fire. Got him. Cartman's Fat Teats has joined the chat. Hello. Hello, Cartman's Fat Teats. What the heck? What's going on with your name, man? <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Have you played Snow Day yet? I haven't played it yet. I haven't bought it. But I'm tempted to. Take that, we're going to turn that into leather later. Ooh, a chest. Gold, eight gold, I'm rich. Right, where are we going next? Through here, perhaps? Let's uh, drop a quick save. I've got a feeling Cicero is not going to be difficult, but he might have command of sort of ghosts and stuff. Oh, Cartman, is Snow Day not good? I saw it was like an action RPG instead of an RPG or an action fighter, and yeah. I loved, loved, loved Stick of Truth and uh, Fractured Butthole, but yeah, it didn't appeal to me. Alright, Sanctuary Gardens, calm down. Let's stun you. Stun lock. Stun lock. Boink. Good work. Alright, let's get some healing on the go. Boom, boom. Oh, so did you buy Snow Day and then it wasn't very good? That's so sad. I hate when that happens. Were you able to get it refunded or anything? Oh, by the way, Parthenax, uh, my character hasn't met you yet. Um, I have played enough of the game to have reached that in the past. But not with this playthrough, not yet. I'll be honest, I find Delphine kind of annoying. I, I like Parthenax more. I, nothing wrong with her, it's just that I was doing a different mission and she was going like, oh, I told you not to meet me here and stuff like that. And I'm like, dude, I'm not even here for you. Okay. Lockpicks left 28. We can do this. I haven't sunk any any points into lockpicking whatsoever. Yeah, that's five lockpicks down, I think. Yeah. Here we go, we've got some movement. Okay. Determined to get this one. Uh. Oh my god. Should I put a point into lock picking? Oh man. Come on. Just used 14 lock picks. hurting my soul.
Yes! Get in! Whew. Wow, lots of hate on Delphine in the chat. Uh, she's not that bad. Like She's just doing her thing. It's just that she was sat next to some other character. I was doing some other quest, um, and I go in to talk to this guy, and she kept saying, oh, I, I, I told you not to meet me here. I was like, dude, just call it. I'm not here for you. A uh, potion of minor stamina. Scroll of harmony. I might take that. Soul trap tome. Is that worth? Uh, it's worth selling. I'll sell that to Farangar. Steel dagger of frost. We'll uh, sell that as well. Ex excellent stuff. Okay. I think I'm going to save it after having done that lockpick session. Hello. <laughs> That uh, sanctuary garden got some hits on me, actually. This guy's a bit tougher than some of the... Oh! What? How was that one guy able to take me out? Okay, we'll go in serious this time. Play Matronac. Let's run away a bit. Let's play tactical. Get the shield up. Do some blocking. Uh, I got one shotted. Parthenax, I await your arrival, Dovakim. Anyways, I must continue my meditations. Fair to both of you. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I got killed again. I was reading the chat. Alright, we'll run back. We'll run back. We'll act in there. We'll, uh. We'll force Radar this guy. And then we'll do the thing. This guy's a tough one. I guess I need Lydia, right? Yeah, he's got some heavy hits on him, look. Ah! Maybe I'll boot through Skrodar. Maybe I'll Ethereal instead. Shouts. Come ethereal. We come head off. focusing now on surviving this fight. Potions. Anything useful? Lotus extract. Flipping it. That took a lot of powers and stuff. I guess he was a boss. Whew. Let's just take a moment. I'll drink some tea. Recompose myself and try to capitalise on the fact that I am... 
uh, berserked. Let's see if I can get up there while I'm still using it. All right. Hello, Sister Ray. I surrender. <laughs> a lot of like <clears throat> skeletons by you, mate. There is only one cure for your madness, Cicero. Me. Oh, I like that. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Creative. <laughs> but killing me would be a mistake. Oh yes, you would displease our mother. <laughs> For she's your mother too, isn't she? Listener. Walk away! Let poor Cicero live! Tell the pretender Astrid that you did the job. Stabbed, strangled, drowned poor Cicero. What a little bitty lie. Now, we come to the end of our play. Ah. I mean, I find it... He's a bit pathetic. Like, killing him just feels a bit unethical. I know I've been just murdering people left, right and centre because of the quest line. But... Let's take this stuff out of here. What do you think I should do? Guardian Circle Stroll. No scroll. Uh, Dwarven Shield. Could sell that. Jade and Emerald Circlet and uh, Steel Dagger of Embers. That's all some good that's some good kit. Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. Alright, Dobby. Civis will judge us both. Do what you will. <laughs> Fenris says, I killed him because of a quest line, not a good reason in court. I'm kind of more interested in what are the consequences if you do or don't. Like, do you lose any content if you kill him, or do you lose any content if you leave him alive, or what? Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge Hello, Trash Can. That's an awesome, awesome name. You'd probably like my blog, so I just wrote one about uh, raccoons today. You can get him as a follower. Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. Uh, should we do... You know what we should do is we should let Lydia have a rest for a quest line and take Cicero on like one particular quest line. Um, like the Civil War or the Companions or something like that. So I'm going to let him live. Do I just walk away, yeah? If I have VR, I can drag him around the room. <laughs> I don't have VR, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's just grab anything of use here. Ooh, cooking pot. I can't make anything. I need to collect more food. Okay, well, I'm going to let him live. Uh, and we'll pick him up as a companion for... Like another quest. Uh, I'm not sure which one. There's something up there. Hmm, interesting. We seem to have completely lost Lydia. I don't know where she's gone. Uh, where's the exit? Yeah, there is. <clears throat> Delvin Mallory can upgrade the sanctuary for you, but it costs a fair amount. Oh, well, that's the kind of investment I'm happy to make. I, I, I'm I, actually going to spend some money right now on my house in Whiterun. Uh, kill Cicero or leave the sanctuary and report back to Astrid. So, Ash, I'm going to go back to the Sanctuary via Whiterun 
on the horse. But I'll only do it if you go and leave a like on my stream, if you haven't done that already. How does that sound? How does that sound as a transaction, as a deal? All I do in this town is just go there and cause hassle, like every time. They must be sick of the sight of me. Trash can says that's bribery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mud blood. I know. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll do it anyway. And I don't mind if you leave me a like or not. Uh, okay. Let's uh, get rid of this map and we'll head down to White Run. It's all the way down here. Hall of the Vigilant. Looks like I'm going to unlock Hall of the Vigilant uh, while I do it. Oh, Ash is going to leave me a like anyway. Thanks very much. Hi, Sam. Welcome back. So I let Cicero live because I've decided that on the guidance of the chat at some future stream, I'm going to take Cicero as a follower for like an entire quest line. Maybe one of the major ones, but I don't know which one. I'm assuming he's going to be super annoying. And thank you, Trashcan, for leaving me a like. I really appreciate it. I am... Uh, I'm small fries. I'm small time streamer right now. So uh, any and all support is extremely useful and I'm very, very grateful for it. So was that uh, the Vigilant Hall of the Vigilant? No, it's not. Well, Lydia, I don't know. I wish we could put Lydia on the back of the horse. There's probably a mod for that on the PC, right? We take take Cicero to meet Parthenax. <laughs> is he just sassy, or is he like really inappropriate? Uh, Hall of the Vigilant is to my right, apparently. Trashcan says there's a mod for a dwarven motorbike. <laughs> Like a Dwe like a Dwemer design, like the like the automatons and stuff. So King is saying that apparently Cicero would love uh, Black Reach. Oh, the Dwemer motorbike is a oh, is a retextured horse. Search Vigilant of Stendar. Ocean of Cure Disease, Minor Healing. Hey, are these guys DLC stuff people? Cure Disease Potion, Charred Skeever Hide, Mudcrap Chitin. I think, I've already, I think I already know that. This place is trashed. Master Vampire. Vampire Dust. It's like a dragon's bin here or something. Songs of the Return. Varieties of Daedra. I feel like I've stumbled onto something that's like a quest thing um, by accident. Maybe. Amulet of Stendar. Block 10% more damage with your shield. Let's take that. I might not use it though. Gold. Cure disease. Minor healing. This is a gold mine. Another Amulet of Stendar. Let's take those and sell them. Search this guy already, yeah. Okay, well, if we need to come back here at any point, at least I can fast travel to it. Doggy? Death Hound? Eat the dog meat? Death Hound collar? Uh, I need to remember where the horse is. Does it tell me on the map where the horse is? I've lost my horse. Hmm. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, so King says, if I fast travel to the place I'm in, my horse will appear. That's good to know. Uh, there's people on the walls here. Don't worry, mate, I'm not going in there. Might get, if I get a bit close, they might attack me. Fort Dunstad. Saran is a big toddy goth. We've uh, we've changed the word tiddy to toddy now. That's officially it. She's a whiskey infused alcoholic. She loves hot toddies before bedtime. I thought the horse was actually had like jet black fur, but it's actually brown, isn't it? Uh, Trash can and uh, Fenris. <laughs> You're having an extremely sophisticated argument in my chat right now. Oh, this is nice. Let's uh, got some ambience. No music. Let's go across. A donkey? Where? I see it not. Oh. I would have totally gone and stolen the donkey. Uh, this looks like some kind of mammoth graveyard. Can I search the dead mammoth? A mammoth snout. Uh, is it a waste of a mammoth snout to eat it. Should I uh, like hold on to it? Can I make a good potion out of it? So Sam says, Sirana is a good follower, though complains a lot about the light, but she is a vampire. Oh, is that who you're talking about? Having like... Interesting proportions. I don't prioritise that stuff in my followers. To be honest, the stalwart Lydia is an absolute fearless tank, and that's more what I'm interested in. Uh, some frostbite spiders having their fight there. Here we see the lesser known frostbite spider out of its natural habitat, having a fight in the middle of nowhere. Uh, right, I see white run in the distance. There it is. That's where I got my first horse, over there. Trashcan says, wouldn't you complain about the light if you were a vampire? I think I would, yeah. I think I'd probably just sleep all day. I just think, you know, like, you, you know, in real life I do have a partner. Um, Sam is my partner. And I imagine that if we were fighting monsters, uh, and I gave her a suit of armour, she'd just get stuck in and trash them and probably stand in the doorway and get in my way. But you can't fault... You can't fault that kind of combat loyalty in a girlfriend, you know? Lydia's not this character's girlfriend. Uh, they're more like housemates, but still. They do live in the same house and apparently sleep in the same bed, which uh, I'm not going to question. We'll leave the horse out there. Sam is... My... Oh, so I'm the follower, am I, Sam? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're going to do a few things here. We're going to improve whatever we can improve. No. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go get all my stuff out of the chest that I can smith with, right? And I'm gonna do a bunch of like smith spamming. Oh, so Sam's saying that Lydia has her own room in the house. Oh, that's cool. Well, well then in that case, we're roomies. I don't see the room. So, ingots, 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 ingots. 
gold ingot, iron ingot, iron ore. Uh, silver ingot. I've got a lot of stuff to sell, actually. But we're doing smithing, so let's go do some smithing. <laughs> First thing I'll do is go to the smelter and smelt my iron ore. Then I'll make whatever I can make. Then I'll go to the leather thing and do the leather. Then I'll make everything I can make. Out here if you're looking to buy. More then I'll inside. see if I get enough smithing points. Okay, that was it. I don't play the best luck smith and white run. Yorland brick. And steel. Keep four pieces of leather in my inventory just in case. And let's just make whatever armor we possibly can. Uh, start with steel and work down. Looks like I can't make any steel, any imperial. Oh, I needed leather and I turned it all into strips. That's annoying. Oh, how annoying is that? Have you met my father? What have you got for sale? Blades, I want leather, mate. Helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Misc. Four hundred gold for leather. Uh. I'm going to do it, because I'm going to sell a load of stuff back to her in a second. Let's go make some armor. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I help my father. Take yep. a look. I want stuff. Give me stuff. Ingots. Buy all the iron ingots. All the iron ore. Uh, any steel? Let's take all the steel. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm over encumbered. <laughs> All right, let's start with steel. Uh, studded. Cool. Uh, make some iron armor. Iron dagger. High tracers. And let's sell it all back to her. I can't carry all this stuff. Got some good pieces. You think all the counsel my father provides... So trash can, uh, I fought one yeah. hag raven because I was like going cross country as a werewolf and, and just like stumbled into them. Um, and I haven't bought all the house upgrades. I think I should go do Blades, that now. Helmets. I'll go talk to uh, Aventus now, shall I? Uh, let's sell all the crap I just made. She's got plenty of gold as well, because she just sold me all that stuff. Uh, shrouded armor I won't sell. Uh, five studded armors. And then misc. All right, then. Still carrying too much to be able to run. Anything else here? Uh, let's just make some battle axes. I think that's it. I think that's everything. It's all my smithing spam. So we're on the way with that. Let's sell some more stuff to her. Go and upgrade the house and then carry on with the quest. Take a look. What did I just make? Battle axe. Okay. Think we're under the weight limit again. Yeah. Yeah, we're way under. 
Okay, so let's go buy some upgrades. I think I'll just spend all my money on house upgrades until it runs out. Because I want it to look absolutely sick. So, question for the chat. When you buy the houses in the other towns, um, can you also then buy upgrades for them? Or is it just this, just this one? Trash can, I watched a live stream of Diablo 4 from about a year ago that the Spiffing Brit did. It was pretty buggy at the time because it was like the release build, but um, apparently it's been improved a lot. Is it? Is it good? How does it compare to Baldur's Gate? Is it, it's more combat focused, right? I serve your. I'll be glad. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? All right, what we got here? I think I can afford all of these, you know. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to Children's purchase? Children's bedroom. Ha, replace my child's room with an alchemy lab. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furniture. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Okay. Uh, I might. I might replace my child's bedroom with an alchemy lab because I don't see my character having children anytime soon. <laughs> uh, Trashcan says Baldur's Gate Three is uh, almost flawless. I do, I do own it. I did a seven-hour live stream well. uh, of installing the, the game and then started the game as a live stream. I'm going to carry it on, but I'm going to do Skyrim first. Is but it is, it is on like the purchase? roster, so to speak. All right, let's go have a look at our cool house with the alchemy table. We'll make some potions and then we'll hurry, we'll carry on with the quest. Whee. <laughs> King King was there for the download stream and <laughs> said it was flawless. We did alright, Samantha jumped in and took over at, at some point. And I think did better than me to be honest. Samantha used to stream Pokemon uh, but has now moved on to a much more high-minded uh, activities. Yeah, trash can. I played the original Diablo and I think a bit of Diablo too, and I enjoyed them a lot. Whoa! Look at my house. It's awesome. Got some books. Alchemy lab. Let's make some potions. Right, always health. Uh, invisibility, yes please. Watch those. Ravage stamina, I'm quite fond of. Uh, resist fire. Resist magic. I generally sell those, to be honest. Uh, Fortify conjuration could be good with my Atronach. And then we'll do some damage health. Sweet. I've made so many potions that that didn't even touch my levelling at all. All this food for me to eat everywhere. Uh, cheese? Is it thieving if you steal your own cheese? Nom. Nom. Let's go have a look at the upstairs. Could have improved the stairs, uh, Preventus. I've actually got a door now. The bed's still garbage, but still. Olivia's room's in here. Awesome. Just go out and leave the fire lit. Uh, Trashcan's asking if we can send Nazim to the Cloud District. <laughs> I did actually drop a quick save and just blast him off the top of the steps uh, yesterday. It was very satisfying. Sam says the pot on the fire is where I can make food. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, grab some cabbages and stuff and, and make some make some din-dins. Right, Lydia, where are you? Did Lydia die? I hope not. All right. Uh, I'm going to do a full save a minute.
Cool beans. And uh, let's uh, continue. Continue on. Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Oh no, I fast travelled. Oh no, Ash. Right, Ash, go and take your like off the stream. That's it. I don't deserve it. I was actually going to, I was trying to put a waypoint marker down. Trashcan says if you marry someone, they'll make you a home cooked meal. I'll marry Cicero. All right, Astrid, I've done your dirty safe, work. And for that, you have my thanks. Cicero but what of the fools? Dead. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Ash, I'm so sorry. I, I like genuinely why feel don't bad. Why you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. You could go to the I stream when it's finished and write a comment that's like, up. I watched we this guy for two and a half hours hand. and he mm. promised that he'd ride his horse across the world and then didn't. <laughs> Nor out of ten would not recommend. Right, so what's my next task? Just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Master Chef! Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. The cure for madness. Watch yourself out there. Okay. Report to Festus Crex. Right, let's go talk to Festus. Brother. Oh, you're back. You seem to have there you are. Look, healed up pretty quick. I just wanted to say thanks for coming to find me back in Dawnstar. Arnbjorn, uh, no one's interested in you. Astrid is the main character, not you. Right, is Festus down with Nazir? Hello, Nazir. Have you got any side quests? There ever come a... There are indeed. Yes. There's Dikas, a shipwreck scavenger. Mirandru Joe, a traveling caravaner. And a King says Alabaster. I wouldn't trust Cicero's kicking, uh, cooking skills. Um, trash can. He sprinkles uh, essence of corpse on his meals. And Fenris says the cure for madness is cheese. We need to feed cheese to Cicero. I need to reverse pickpocket cheese into his inventory. And Ash, of course I'll fusro Dar Lydia off a mountain when I go to see Parthenax. Right. Uh, tell me about Marandru Joe. He's an accomplished wizard. And locating him may be challenging as he travels with the caravans. Tell me about Anoyarath. The wood elf may run a stall in the city, but he retreats to the plains outside Whiterun to hunt. Kill him there, and no one will bear witness. Tell me about Dekus. He's an Dekus? <laughs> Likes to scavenge shipwrecks. All right, My guess is he'll run if threatened, <laughs> or swim if given the chance. We'll Fusradar Dekus off a cliff. Happy hunting. All right, let's go talk to the thing. So I'm not sure whether to carry on with the main Dark Brotherhood quest line now. We'll go do Nazir's quests. There's something about his that I really like. All soul gem. I'll have that. Thank you. Another soul gem. Hello, Festus. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Uh, did I need to kill him and take on his identity? Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. So you don't even know who the gourmet is? Wonderful. Do you have any idea how I might find out? Remain silent. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. In my, uh, what in sort of a person would name their baby Festus? It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Uh, but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. 
I've tracked around to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. And this Anton Verain knows the gourmet's true identity? I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan, who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... This guy's... Are you still paying hard, attention? <laughs> Remain silent. Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Oh, this is where I need the VR. I could drag the body around. Uh, I think... Trash can says, can't help but think Festus is kind of off. <laughs> if you like grumpy old guys, then yeah. There's no shame in that. Uh, well, let's ask him what he thinks of himself then. Festus, what can you tell me about yourself? I like to say I was born with a wand in my hand. Well, not literally. You could see how painful that would have been for mother. But I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ha! Ah! When I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts completely. I went on to teach at the college. Left after two years. Too simple. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory of the destruction school. Okie dokie. So, what else can you tell me about the gourmet? Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow. And <laughs> you've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Tell me about this cookbook. Uncommon Taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. <laughs> so the gourmet is in Skyrim? Yes. Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the gourmet around, in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion, somewhere in Skyrim, on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> but you'll fix that. Cool. So we've learned all about Festus. Markarth Keep. That's Mark where you'll Keep. find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them well, off as his own. Okay, so, right, trash can. Let's, let's chat. So, a few things. First of all, I maybe have misstepped when Come I said if you find you bold old guys uh, attractive, because lots of people do. Need. Second thing, I've actually been bold in the past. Voluntarily, I dressed up as uh, grown-up Ang from Avatar. Come now. Um, but also, orders. looking at this what guy's physique, he's absolutely need? stacked. Look, wait till he walks past me. He's got some Spider-Man levels of uh, athleticism what going on there. So I retract need? my comments, and I agree. He's probably very much a lot of people's type. He's also got that distinguished kind You've of intense anger about him. What else could you You're all good. Need? I'm sorry about uh, what I said. <laughs> 
something. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I need to get another cup of water because I've right. drunk a whole load. Hello, Astrid. Uh, so I'm going to look at my smithing stat. 27. All right, we still don't have enough for that perk. Uh, I'm going to take a quick comfort break, make sure my windows are open because it's got really hot in here, and I'll be back and we'll go and do those Nazir quests. Okay, and I'm back. So let's quickly uh, just switch quests over. Kill Decus. I think we should go do Decus first. I must. Uh, I must go to the shipwreck on the northern coast and kill Decus. I may use any means at my disposal. When I'm done, I'm to report back to Nazir and collect my reward. Right, let's go. Huh? Cartman. <laughs> Cartman, I'm just going to call you Cartman. All right, I can't, I can't do it. I hate being constipated. He says, "Fair enough." So, uh, to anyone who's new to the stream, if you like the content and you like the community, um, you're welcome to subscribe. Obviously, I like that and leave a like on the stream. But I also have a Discord server on the go, uh, where everyone is there um, having chats about the games they like, and we have like various different roles for things you're enthusiastic about. Um, you're welcome to pop over there. You'll find the link on the front page of my channel. Um, and that's the quickest social media thing I've ever done. Uh, right, Ash. Here's what I'm gonna do. Right. I'm going to ride the horse to Whiterun, then I'm going to fast travel, and that makes up for the that makes up for the fact that I didn't ride it. And then you can go put the like back on my stream if you want. Hello, guards. Don't mind me. Fall grease. Well, trash can, if you don't like cheese, that's fine. Because one of the things about these kinds of video games and just sort of D&D &D and TTRPGs in general and stuff like that is that you can have a digital character do it for you. So you can simulate the joy of cheese eating without actually having to go through the pain of it. Who are these people? This doesn't concern you, citizen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's... Uh... Let's wait through to the morning. I want to. I want to travel around in daylight. There we go. Let's wait one more hour. <laughs> there we go. It's daytime. It's very hazy in this area here. Uh, some baddies around. Quite sure who they were, but are there. Gonna leave the bear as well. This should be good. Come here. 
Sorry, Bear, but you attack me first. Alright, buddy. Sorry, mate. Who are you? Nice armor. I used to have that What's armor. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. <laughs> Ash says he bought a culinary blowtorch to pretend to do chef stuff, but pretty much just melt cheese. Oh, come on, bear. Talk to that orc. They're quite hard to kill. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you going to do? Cry? Uh, back off now. I don't have to take that from you. Oh, I put my berserker powers on. Okay. The horse is getting involved. <laughs> Thanks, Shadow Mir and Lydia. Let's see what trash that she's got on her. Corundum ingot, corundum ore, gold, potion of healing, stamina. Ah, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Uh, I could take the sword and sell it, to be honest. I've now got my berserker powers just like active. Oh, so Trashcan, did you think that that was the orc champion? I think I fought one of those guys. I knocked him off the side of a... Like, into a ravine sort of thing. I need to find a left turn somewhere. My, my berserker power being on makes this look a bit like a dream sequence. Yeah, yeah, uh, so Ash, yeah, the, the, the orc I fought was looking for death, like a good death. That's kind of the thing. Trashcan, I haven't fought the Ebony Warrior, but I've seen people fighting the Ebony Warrior. Um, I saw it on a Spiffing Brit stream, um, where he just made like a ridiculously super-powered build and uh, took him out. This is, this is Helgen. Oh, look. Cool. Just leave those people. I must have gone the wrong way. Hello, Talion. Yes, I not only have a horse, but I have like a demon horse that can't die. It's pretty sweet. I'm just going to go off piece here because I, I, I can't see where the road goes. How was the gym, Talion? Is there a tiger chasing me or something? So Venris is saying the Khajiit plus Fist of Randagulf is fortify unarmed enchant. One punch man. Oh, did you have to have a break from the gym because of your um, injury to your wrist? Talion is a fellow content creator. Oh, Bunny! Bunny! Hello! Where are you going? <gasps> that hunter's just hunted that bunny. That's fair. Okay, we're going to go down here. Uh, let's do a quick save in case this is a mistake. Right, she survived. Awesome. Wolfie. Wolf, you cannot hurt me. I'm on a demon horse. All right, let's follow the road this time, and we'll and we'll run. We're just yeah, Taylor, and I'm just. Uh, I promised Ash I'd uh, ride from the north to the south of the map, and then I got halfway down and fast travelled because I forgot. Dragon. Yes. All right, we're gonna kill this dragon. Come on. Uh, let's uh, go for the Atronach first of all. I've got a potion that should help with this uh, potion of something conjuration. 
Potion of Fortify Conjuration? Oh no, it looks like I spent it. Never mind. Uh, let's uh, summon the Atronach. And then we'll go for Bow and Arrow. And then we'll put on some sort of damaging potion. Maybe we'll try and damage its stamina. Uh, Ravage stamina, there we go. Right, where is it? Oh, I want unrelenting force on as well. There we go. Now it's a fire one, so I'm going to put a potion of resist fire as well. Potion of resist fire! There we go. And let's just quickly heal up. And then uh, shoot it a bunch. I should probably go uh, stand in the water, really. Oh, I'm really slow to load my arrows. Where's my Atronach? There she is. Dragon, where are you? Oh, the horse is just going for it, look. My team are solid as hell. I've got my Atronach, got my horse, got my Lydia. Laughing. And now I'm over encumbered. Lydia, where are you? Cool. That was actually not too stressful a dragon fight, to be honest. Um, somebody earlier, somebody earlier asked me if I played the Far Cry games. Was that anyone who's in the chat now? Because I have. I played three. I played four. Uh, I played five, but not completed it. I'm doing it. Um, and I've played uh, six, which I actually loved. I thought six was one of the better ones. But yeah, I need you to carry some dragon Still bones, many. I am at your command. All right, Misk. Why have I got a cast iron pot? got am I carrying any random stuff here okay I've got a lot of stuff to sell I think we'll have a selling session fairly soon right I think the dragon fight is a good point at which to then fast travel to white run don't don't think so pretty much there what do you reckon no we'll ride there like I did say I'd ride there Dragonborn. I am an ancient legend. You're also in my way on the bridge. All right, let's go. Hill we go. Uh, am I lost? Am I lost? Is this the wrong way? Let's carry on going. No thanks. Never should have come here. Right, you're a bandit. I think I, I think I've gone the wrong way. It's a white run. Oh well. Let's just head down. Let's head down this way.
with the horse I can just kind of run down here pretty easy. I just realised I could have sold a bunch of stuff at Riverwood. I uh, didn't think of it. Well, I don't know if that was a shortcut or not, but um, it's a nice diversion. So we'll go into Whiterun, we'll sell off a bunch of uh, what Lydia's carrying and then we'll, uh, then we'll fast travel after that. Alien, what games are you playing on your channel at the moment? Uh, I think we'll steal all of this food. So I do want to cook stuff. Uh, I think it, someone, I think it was King, told me that you can get some pretty good buffs from cooking. Oh, Lydia's finally caught me up. She's still got my Falmer shield. I had a Dwarven shield, um, which was probably better, um, but I sold it. I didn't. I didn't give it to her. Leave my horse at the stable. Can you look after my horse, please? I don't think your steed is fleeter than mine. To be honest. Uh, I've gone the wrong way here. Yep. Oh, I'm just gonna fa I'm just gonna fast travel into White Run. <laughs> I can't find the door. You didn't hear this from me. Oh, okay. Let's sell, sell, sell. We'll, we'll clear her That's out of all of her money, mm, and then we'll go Towns into the other places and we'll sell a bunch of stuff as well. Needs. Okay, I'm happy with all of that. Apparel. Happy with all of that. Misc. Okay, so she won't buy Don't forget to check the enchanted the talismans and stuff. Let's go to Bellathor and see what he'll take off our hands. I'm telling you, I heard it. How you Those werewolves came so Still here. Through. As my Thane, I'm... How can I serve you, my Thane? Okay. Oh, she's still got all the Imperial stuff. Let's get going then. Right. Bellathor will probably take some of this off our hands. With Skyrim these days. Everyone is... Let me know if you see. Ravage stamina is pretty good. Uh, no gold. Okay. I think I just sold her a potion for nothing, remedy. which is a bit silly. Uh, next thing, we'll go up to Farangar, see what he'll buy.
Fenris, good night, good evening, see you later. Thank you so much for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's been great having you here. I, I like your contributions very much. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the Farangar, I need to sell stuff to you. Um, hopefully we'll see you on the next one, which I think is going to be tomorrow. As, um, it is scheduled for tomorrow. Misk. Apparel. Okay, yeah, so he'll buy stuff. Uh, Amulet of Stendar. Jade and Emerald Circlet. I'll keep my fine clothes because Sam told me to. Uh, Misk stuff is all soul gems. And there's some... There's some stuff that's worth money here. Soul Trap. White Run Home Decorating Guide. <laughs> I might read that actually. You know, if you King Block says uh, also this stream revealed how common dragon loot is. You're not hunting them and still fought three. Yeah, Sam said to me as well. Like when you get to the point where you can actually craft dragon armor, um, you can they, like dragons will keep appearing. So if you just keep just go fight them when I need them, sort of thing. Uh, I'm gonna read that book, wasn't I? White Run Home Decorating Guide. All right, <laughs> doesn't give me anything. The aptitude. I'll There's sell it to him. So just for the lols. To master the arcane arts. Books, books. Uh, let's actually so see what he's got for sale because I might get some soul arts. gems and I might just use my soul trap weapon uh, f for a minute to. Uh, To catch some souls. I have got nearly 5,000 gold, so some grand soul gems could be good. Uh, a greater soul gem. And then just whatever else I can get. That's one, two, four. Lesser. There's nothing for 60 or petty. There we go. I've used up all my gold. Remember. Your mind is the best weapon. But now I think I'll switch to my you have... Baron von Trappington. Use that for a bit. King says, time to go home. Thanks for the stream. See you next. Yeah, see you later. Um, I'm actually going to be wrapping it up there, uh, thinking about it, because I was only intending to stay on for three hours today, and it's been slightly over that. Um, it's been almost three and a half, um, and I would like to go cook myself some food. So let's find the location, the next location, and get set up outside it. Kildikus. So we'll fast travel to Dawnstar. Jump on to Shadowmere. And then we'll make our way over there. And then I'll do a quick save just before we do it. And then we'll wrap up. So, uh, yeah, for anyone who's uh, hanging around in the stream, <clears throat> listening and not chatting or, or otherwise, thanks so much. Uh, I really appreciate you dropping in. Um, I get some really nice comments from people afterwards going, oh, I watched your whole stream the other day. But obviously they're like either not able to chat or um, they're doing other things and that kind of thing. So I just really appreciate you being here. Uh, it means a lot to me. I have a lot of fun doing these. So uh, uh, anyone who shows up and whether you're saying hi or not, it's great. It, it really makes me feel good. And I, me and Sam afterwards like look through the YouTube stats and stuff. And I've been doing it a while, so I understand how to read them all. And um, yeah, it's pretty fun. So what do you reckon? Before I wrap up, do you think we should go and kill Decus or save it for next time? Lydia, she's so loyal. She's looking at me loyally with her crappy shield that I didn't upgrade. Um, if you're watching this on uh, on demand or on catch up, then um, 
feel free to obviously subscribe or leave a like or whatever and uh, if you've already done that or if you don't feel like doing that but you want to come and say hi to the community i have a discord server which you can find a link to in the description uh, sorry a link to on the front page of the channel and um, you can drop in there and talk about skyrim or or lots of other like rpgs ttrpgs strategy games card games that sort of thing um it's fairly active we are catching a lot of pokemon at the moment um you're more than welcome to join us two okay well i think we'll let Decus live for another little while i'll drop a save here proper save And then uh, when we get back next time, we'll take him out. So wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is, uh, thanks so much. And uh, I will see you hopefully on the next one. Bye for now.